Hi, this is Mason again at Tech Fever, and today I'm going to show you how to install a font to Pages. So first we're going to open up Pages, and we can just make a new document, just make a blank one. And now we're going to go to Safari, and I already have this pulled up, it's dafont.com, D-A font.com. Um, there's a bunch of websites, but this is one of my favorites. Um, the other one that I like is 1001fonts.com. I'll put those in the description. Um, so they have a bunch of different topics that are types of fonts that you can download. And everything is free and you can donate to the offer for some of them. And so right now we're going to download these two fonts. So first I'll download this one. Then I'll download the other one too. And so you oh, go into your downloads or whatever, it might be in the finder, or it might be right in your dock, and you can open up the folder, and then you go to um, the TT. All the files are TTF, that means it is a font file. So these are, you can see there are two different types of fonts. This one's like more like a bold, this one's a little bit lighter. And this one has different ones. We don't we don't use that. We're not going to worry about that right now. So we're going to do this, and we you can choose either one. We're going to choose the darker one. And when you double click on it, it makes this window come up, and it is a preview of the font, and it won't show anything else because there isn't anything else. And then you go to install font. And this will pop up. This is the font book. And this is how you install a font. So this is what the program that you use is. And now I will X that out because you don't need that anymore. I'll X this out. And as you can see, if I go to it, it's not there. So many people get annoyed with this. What you need to do is you need to quit this and reopen it. This, what that does is it resets pages. So then you go and you can get your font. Down a little bit bigger. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Now this one doesn't have any folders, it just has this one. Some of them only have one choice. So again, here's the preview. This one again has only one. Install font, and it'll pop up right there. Again, it will not come up, so we have to quit parallels. Just delete it. Reopen it. New document. And it is there. This one is a little bit smaller font, so you probably have to make it a little bit larger. That is for some of the fonts. So, I hope you enjoyed the video of how to install fonts onto pages.